Welcome people. In this video, we want to start off with parasitology introduction. Okay, so first of all, what is parasite? Parasite means uh, something that depends on the host for the nutrition like this worm you see here. Let us say it is in the intestine. It is going to suck the nutrition from the host. So it's going to feed on the host, the host nutrition it is going to take up. Okay. So, the study of these are called as parasitology. So, these parasites in our body, human importance only we are looking at. So, the parasite in our body can either be a fungi or it could be a protozoa or it could be from kingdom animalia where you have the helminths, you know, the roundworms, etc. So, roundworms are actually kingdom animalia, correct? So, they, we will study them under three parts. So, mainly you have to look at this. See, first of all, in the world, whatever is there, living thing, it has been classified as, they have been classified as a prion or a viroid or a virus, right? These things don't come under the kingdoms. In the five kingdoms, we have kingdom Monera, then we have kingdom Protista, then we have kingdom Fungi, kingdom Plantae, kingdom Animalia. Now with the six kingdom classification, so many changes are there. And also just note that the phylums, the subphylums, the classes, the, everything keeps changing, especially with these levels, no, protozoa, bacteria, fungi. Sometimes they'll say it's a fungi. Sometimes they'll say, no, it is a sporozoa. So this microspora earlier was sporozoa, now it is fungi. So a lot of changes will be there, okay. So basically what and all are there? Bacteria will be under Monera. Protista will have protozoa, they are calling it as kingdom protozoa, kingdom fungi, kingdom plantae, kingdom animalia. See these plants are uh, making their own nutrition, so, so far no problem with plants. They have not at least put plants <coughs> in the parasitology. So we have to study what and all, protozoa, fungi and the helminths. Okay. okay, so three parts we will take up, protozoa, fungi, helminths. Okay. Under protozoa, what and all we will see? Protozoa type of parasites, we have amoeba, amoeba uh, amoebozoa, entamoeba, histolytica, etc., which causes amoebic dysentery. Then you have negleria, negleria. Then you have uh, giardia, all these have been asked in the exam. Giardia, lamblia. Then you have trichomonas, which causes trichomonas vaginalis. Guys, are you able to see? So, trichomonas vaginalis is caused by trichomonas. Trichomonas is a protozoa. Then you have euglena, phylum euglena, under which you have leishmania. Leishmania causes leishmaniasis, kala azar. This is actually transmitted by the sand fly. This photo will show you this uh, kala azar. Kala azar. Sand fly will transmit it. Okay. Then trypanosoma will cause African sleep, sleeping sickness. It is transmitted by tessitese fly. So trypanosoma causes African sleeping sickness. This trypanosoma is carried by this tessitese fly. Then epicomplexa, api, epicomplexa, you have toxoplasma, cryptosporidium. Malaria, plasmodium comes under this apicomplexa, malaria, okay. So these small ones which are in small font, these are actually not asked in the exam. So you can leave them if you want, okay. Cyclospora, isospora, babesia, anyways. But you should remember plasmodium, malaria is caused by plasmodium which is coming under apicomplexa which is actually a protozoa, okay. So, in protozoa, what and all uh, are the diseases we saw in protozoa? We saw amoebic dysentery, trichomonas vaginalis, leishmaniasis, kala azar transmitted by sand fly caused by leishmania. Then we have the African sleeping sickness transmitted by the tessitisi fly caused by the trypanosoma which is a uh, euglena. So, Lishmania and Trypanosoma are Euglenas. Then we have the Malaria, which is caused by Plasmodium. This Plasmodium is carried by the female Anopheles mosquito. 
these come under phylum apicomplexa okay here you will put female anopheles mosquito are you able to see guys Let's move on now. Recently moved under uh, fungi. Actually, earlier they were saying these are also sporozoa, right? But anyways, remember microsporidium and balantidium coli. Okay, microsporidium. If you remember, more than enough for now. Balantidium coli. If you want, see, remember ringworm is infection is caused by fungi, but it is not actually a worm. Okay, it is a fungi. Moving on, guys. we have finished the protozoa and fungi now we will move to helminths under helminths there are cestodes trematodes and nematodes look at this based on the habitat they are classified like this cestodes intestinal trematodes intestinal nematodes intestinal then you have the tissue cestodes blood lung trematodes blood trematodes hepatic trematodes here you have the tissue nematodes etc so we have what and all please tell us the names cestodes trematodes and nematodes based on the habitat they have again further divided it as intestinal and others in case you are already tired then better we meet in the next video come back and we'll cover the entire slide in the next video okay bye bye